Harry and Meghan baby daughter Lilibet exempt from royal rule to affect brother Archie. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's daughter Lilibet is eighth in line to the throne and as such is likely to be exempt from one royal rule expected to affect her big brother, Archie Harrison, as a grown-up. Prince Harry, 36, and Meghan Markle, 39, shared their joy at welcoming a daughter Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten-Windsor, to the world on Sunday. Baby Lily was born in hospital in California not far from the Sussex's Montecito mansion and is expected to be raised in the USA alongside her big brother Archie Harrison, too. While Harry and Meghan have quit the firm, they have held on to their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, and Harry has kept his place as sixth in the line of succession. Harry's son Archie is seventh in line to the throne and Lilibet is eighth, but they will shift up a spot, as will Harry when Prince Charles, 72, becomes king. Upon Charles' accession to the throne, Archie will become sixth in line, which will make him subject to newer royal rule if he ever chooses to marry. Before 2013, a 1772 Royal Marriages Act meant that all royal family members had to seek permission from the presiding sovereign in order to marry. However, this piece of legislation was updated in 2013 to apply to just the first six royals in line to the throne. If Archie is sixth in line by the time he chooses to marry, then he will have to ask Prince Charles, who will then likely be king, permission to do so. Constitutional expert Ian McMarthan explained, prior to the succession of the Crown Act 2013 all descendants of George II, under the terms of the Royal Marriages Act 1772, unless the issue of a princess who had married into a foreign royal family, had to obtain the sovereign's permission to marry in order to retain their rights in succession. The 2013 Act sought to bring multiple pieces of outdated and discriminatory legislation relating to the monarchy up to date, and through this Act male primogeniture was abolished, allowing the firstborn child irrespective of gender to become heir apparent, the disqualification from inheriting the throne by marrying a Catholic was removed, and the Royal Marriages Act of 1772 was repealed, resulting in only the first six in line to the throne being required to obtain the sovereign's permission. The expert added, consequently, should the children of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wish to marry, they will be required to seek the sovereign's permission. Rather than moving further away from this requirement the Cambridge children will move closer when the grandfather, the Prince of Wales, inherits the throne. Indeed, with this movement, as things presently stand, it might be anticipated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son, should he marry, will have to seek the sovereign's permission unless one of his three cousins marry and have children first, as he will be sixth in line when his grandfather is king. However, even once her grandfather is king, Lilibet will be seventh in line to the throne, and will therefore not have to ask the king's permission to tie the knot. As the Queen's 11th great-grandchild, baby Lily was not granted an HRH style or royal title at birth but will get one when her grandfather Prince Charles takes the throne. Mr. McMarthan said, as with any child of the Duke of Sussex, they will have, upon the accession of Prince Charles, and unless George V's letters patent of 1917 have been amended, the right to use the style HRH and the title Princess or Prince. Despite calls being made for the Duke to be stripped of his titles, the fact remains he was born a prince and it is by this fact that any children he may have will derive their own royal status.
He added, unless changes are made through parliamentary statute, letters patent, or discretionary action this fact will remain unaltered as will the consequences of it. Presently there is no modern-day precedent for stripping a person born with royal style and title of same. At the time of Edward VIII's abdication it was determined that whilst he might abdicate as king emperor, it was not competent to conclude that he could abdicate his royal status. This fact was evidenced in him reverting to being HRH Prince Edward, before being created Duke of Windsor. Harry and Meghan have not been back to the UK as a family since they quit the fold in March 2020. However, there are hopes they could return to Britain with their two children for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next June.